Next, let us focus on the net enrollment rates. What are net enrollment rates? It's really simply the number of primary school age children enrolled in schools compared to the overall population in that age group. Every child of a particular age group should be in school. That is not a reality yet. So how do we make sure that all children of a particular age get into schools? The first step is to look at how many, what percentage of the current age group children that should be in schools are actually in schools. And that is looking at the net enrollment rate. How many students of school-going age are actually in classrooms in schools? The net enrollment rate is an indicator of the level of accessibility of education for school-age children. Now, we might say 100% students should be in schools, but only, let's say, 42% are in schools. Why are the other 58% not there? It's accessibility of schools. Where are the schools located? How far are the schools? What kind of infrastructure arrangements do we have? How do we get these students to schools? And how do we keep them in schools? Unless we address these issues, this will continue to be an issue on the education arena of Pakistan. Here's the net enrollment rate over the past few years, and we can see that the male enrollment rate fluctuates slightly from approximately 68% in 2000-2001 to 61%. So there is about a 7% fluctuation. But look at the female rate from 46% roughly in 2000-2001 to 54%. Actually, it has gone up slightly. Now that may have various reasons and sources. It's a good sign. The male enrollment unfortunately has dropped slightly and there are reasons which we will discuss later on in this course. In the female side, however, we see roughly 8 to 9% increase, which is good. But is this across the board or is this particularly related to a province and other provinces are lagging behind. But in Pakistan, it's nice to know that, yes, female population in schools has gone up. It's not nice to know that the male population has come down. Just because one goes up, the other shouldn't be coming down. If we want to keep the balance, actually every child, school-going age, should be in a school. So when you look at the net enrollment rates, we see that from 2000 to 2001 to 2004 to 5, in about four years, there has been a jump. Everything has gone up. And then suddenly everything falls at a plateau. The males, the boys, the females, the girls, both then tend to be more or less at the same level. Why the sudden decline and why approximately the same level over the next four, five years, at least it's good to know that it hasn't dropped further. But simply because it's at a plateau doesn't mean it's a good sign. How do we take it back up and keep that incline going so that all 100% of our school-age children will be in schools? The primary net enrollment rate figures over the period 2000 2008 indicate that for girls consistently lower than boys and thereby indicating that in Pakistan girls have less access to primary education than boys. And this trend continues. Obviously, if girls have less access at the primary level, chances of them getting access at the secondary and the tertiary levels also remains low. Because you can't suddenly come and say, I'm ready for secondary education or tertiary education with no primary education. So primary education for girls is absolutely critical. What are we going to do? How are we going to make sure that our young girls get to schools is really the big question. And I think the major issue here 
really is educating parents, convincing parents that sending their daughters to school is the right thing to do. So we see here over three-year periods of the net enrollment rates in different urban and rural areas, and we see that overall the figures tend to be favoring the boys and not favoring our girls. A comparison of urban and rural figures indicates urban is better, rural is not. Our rural female population are the worst off. That is because in rural areas, the trend is not to let young girls out of the homes. And if we don't have schools only for girls, we don't have these schools staffed entirely by female students, uh, teachers, the parents are not sending their young girls to school. And that puts them at a further disadvantage. How and when are these numbers going to change? When are they going to get better? It can only happen if we can educate parents and convince them that an educated female means an educated mother and an educated mother means a better life for an entire family in the future.